hey guys you're welcome to my channel i'm going to have this video pinned to the top of my youtube channel for the sake of my new subscribers who want to get to know a bit about me because i make a lot of videos so many people may not be able to necessarily know who i am or what i do and all that yeah that's why i'm putting on this video my name is chilotam ojupo i am a nigerian youtuber ux writer copywriter content writer all that good stuff i am an Igbo girl okay Igbo people are from nigeria in case you're not nigerian and you're watching this and i'm basically just going to be telling you a bit about myself about what i do on youtube and outside of youtube and all that so that you kind of have an idea of who you're watching and the kind of person that i am if you decide to subscribe which i hope you do i've been a youtube creator for about two years now i started in january 2021 this is currently june 2023 and i've been working my way up from there i post two times a week sometimes once a week if i'm not really up to it but i try my best to be as consistent as possible i talk about social issues i do vlogs sometimes i do very light-hearted videos sometimes i do clothing hauls i talk about anything under the sun okay i'm not necessarily boxing myself into a niche yet until i find what works for me but for now i'm doing anything that i want to do because i happen to be somebody who likes to talk who has a lot of opinions and i like to share my opinions as well that's one of the reasons why i started this channel so i started making videos officially in march or april 2020 and this was during the whole coviana situation we're not allowed to say the actual word during the lockdowns on youtube so that we don't get flagged but yeah i started exploring video creation from instagram sometimes i'll post videos about some interesting topics as well and it will get a lot of traction so in january 2021 i decided to start a youtube channel and start actually just putting myself out there i love to create videos i love to share knowledge i love to educate people side note i worked as a teacher once okay this was like in 2018 I absolutely loved it so it's just an innate nature of mine to want to share information or share knowledge and just educate people and that's basically why i have this channel i studied english in university and that also largely contributes to my being articulate and just putting myself out there and sharing my opinions unapologetically so when it comes to sharing opinions i talk about some social issues which some people may or may not deem controversial this is because some of these things are uncomfortable conversations or some of these things are uncomfortable truths and i feel like we've got to a point in the world where things are going a bit haywire and i sometimes have traditional values other times i have liberal values and i try to approach things at least recently i've been trying to approach a lot of dialogue from a centrist perspective so you may or may not see me covering one or two controversial topics here and there and that's mostly because of the contents that i consume i watch a lot of politics on youtube i watch a lot of topics that you see what the things i talk about yeah those are the kinds of things that i also watch on youtube and it just so happens that some of my audience is also interested in that side of life i do a blend or a mix of everything because i just feel like it's a nice to have you know anything that comes to my mind i put it out there on youtube that's just the kind of person that i am part of the reasons why i also make youtube videos is to basically start conversations or spark people's curiosity and just make people to think in a direction or in a way that they may or may not have been thinking another reason is because i feel like in my own generation i maybe maybe a bit different because most of us are more on the liberal side you know most people don't really adopt traditional values anymore so sometimes i say some things i will not even shy from the fact that i used to be really brutal in the past okay sometimes when i'm making videos i still have to put out trigger warnings because some people may get offended by the things that i say outside of youtube i work a nine to five job i work as a content writer as a ux writer as a copywriter so all of those things that's basically what i do and i work in the tech industry so i basically do writing for websites blog posts product brochures product briefs all that good stuff that's what i do and i love my job so much because i love to write i love to communicate i love to like i said educate and i love to just you know put my thoughts down to paper or to my laptop since i work from home some people ask me how i'm able to blend working and doing youtube and the answer is that i work from home okay so i have the liberty to make videos when i want when i want in quotes and other times when i'm not really consistent on youtube it just means that my nine to five is taking much of my time and i feel like i give i give more priority to my nine to five because i mean that's my means of livelihood so 
if you see me sometimes maybe not being active on youtube it's just because work has you know taken over a little bit of my career history i started off my career my professional career as a human resources executive or a human resources officer that was when i was doing my nyse i didn't really like the job because it just wasn't me you know i i wasn't interested in doing all that hr stuff the place that i worked at was a very good place in terms of helping me to build my professional life helping me to build character and helping me to just manage a lot of things multitasking and keeping to time and doing a lot of very difficult things juggling a whole bunch of things at a very early stage of my career so i'll say that that really helped me in my career growth and development after a year and about six months into the job i told them that i didn't want to work in hr anymore that i wanted to just be a content writer be a copywriter and thankfully the place i was working in was flexible enough to help me to transition to another job i made a very long video on this i'm going to link it here i don't want to talk too much but yeah that was basically where my career started from i switched from being a hr officer or hr exec to being a content and a copywriter and currently i work as a content and ux writer that's my job description okay and i work in a whole new place so i think i made a whole video oh my god i made a video about everything anyway <laughs> i made a vlog about it so i'm going to leave it here as well the vlog seems to be doing really well like you guys like you guys seem to like vlog a lot but i'm just not a vlog person that's why i don't do so many vlogs so i just wanted to chip that in it's my interest i'm largely interested in politics any kind of politics i just want to know about things that are going on in the world i'm interested in current affairs i like to go to the gym i go to the gym very often i made a gym video i'm going to link it here hopefully i'm going to make another one because some people said that i should make another one too i also post my gym videos in my youtube shorts because it's just a nice to have you know to see what life is outside of me coming to shout and scream at everybody here on youtube so yeah i like going to the gym i love sleeping okay i love to sleep because sleep is just so peaceful you, you're just sleeping and forgetting about all your problems so i love sleeping i like to clean as well i'm a very very clean person i, I don't i don't like dirtiness okay i'm a very soft babe inside and out that's the person that i am i'm also largely to some extent very independent because i like to work for things i like to gain things and have it like based off of merit you know i'm a very very hard worker okay i i do my best to work hard and be very diligent at everything that i do you can find me on other social media platforms especially twitter because twitter is what i use the most i use twitter more than instagram i use twitter more than tiktok i have a tiktok but i don't really post on there because i don't i really don't know how to navigate the app and i just feel like it's just too many apps for me okay i'm i'm too old to keep up with all these things you see tiktok snapchat those apps are not for me i feel like instagram twitter they're enough for me you'll find me on instagram and on twitter on my instagram stories i usually post random things there but whenever i want to upload a video i also notify my followers there my twitter i do that as well i do that on my snapchat as well so if you keep up if you follow me on those social media platforms especially on twitter you'll be able to keep up with me i give announcements i ask for video suggestions i also just get video ideas from you guys twitter is like where i i, I love to be the most because there is a lot of conversations that happen there and those conversations are some of the ideas that i make into my youtube videos so you can get to know me more on twitter i try my best to interact with my followers or my subscribers and all that i also like to take video suggestions or video ideas from my followers i'm very open to things like that because i want to know what you guys want in fact there would be no reason for me to have this channel if i do not have people who liked me enough to subscribe to my channel so if there is any feedback that you have for me you can leave it under my videos i read and i see all my comments so if you have any feedback you can leave it for me in the comments i usually always ask people to be very respectful i love it when you guys actually leave comments under my videos because it makes me feel like okay people are actually listening to what i'm saying and they care enough to give feedback so another thing is to make sure that you give the video a thumbs up because that really helps my videos go a very long way generally on youtube giving a video a thumbs up helps the video to be pushed to the youtube algorithm so that way you'll be able to reach other people who are not subscribed to you occasionally i do vlogs but i'm not really a vlog person because i don't really go out like that but hopefully that will change in subsequent times <laughs> and also turn on the notification bell because sometimes when creators upload people don't know because youtube is not notifying people so turn on the notification bell in the mid right of your screen and just click on all so that you be notified every single time that i publish a new video thank you guys for watching i will see you in
whichever view you're going to watch after this one